Dear students, in the part 1 of the lesson, The Queen of Boxing, written by M.C. Mericom, we have seen how Mericom has traveled to Pennsylvania and what are the challenges that she faced in Pennsylvania and whether she won the match or not. So now let's begin with your part 2 in this video. Page number 35, right hand side, last paragraph. The greatest disadvantage for me was my loss of appetite. I was not accustomed to the food there. Try as I might, I could not eat the food and I started to lose weight. So much so that just before the finals, I was only 46 kg. This is probably what cost me my dream of winning gold and I was very disappointed. So, Mary Combe did not win gold in the final match in Pennsylvania but she won the silver because she lost in the final match. She is stating that why she lost in the final match was because it was due to her loss of appetite. Appetite means hunger. Mary Combe was from India. She went to Pennsylvania. Uh, she, she was not accustomed to the food in Pennsylvania. She did not like that food so she ate less so immediately she started losing weight. So during the final match she was only 46 kg but as I told you earlier she participated in 48 kg championship. So she is stating that that might be the reason for losing in a final match. This is probably what caused me my dream of winning gold and I was very disappointed. She was very disappointed because when she came to Pennsylvania her only thought was to win in the final match and to get gold to her people. But finally she lost in the final match and she is going home only with silver. I went to my room and cried but the coaches were kind. They consoled me and lauded me on the silver win. I was the only one in the team to get a medal. But the biggest thing I took away from this championship was the conviction that I could take on any boxer. So being disappointed Mary Combe was uh, crying in her room but the coaches consoled her and convinced her because anyway she won silver for her people and lauded me on the silver win. Lauded means appreciated. It's okay. Uh, they, they were convincing. They were consoling the consoling Mary Combe. I was the only one in the team to get a medal. So there were a group of people, group of sports team who went from India to Pennsylvania to attend the championship. But Mary Combe was the only one, one person from the team to get medal for India. But the biggest thing I took away from this championship was the conviction that I could take on any boxer. Though Mary Combe did not win gold in championship in Pennsylvania, she got that confidence to herself that she could face anyone in the ring. Though the boxer may be very strong, very brave and very confident, Mary Combe got that confident too that she could face anyone in the ring. She could compete even with a person who is stronger than her. In the course of my career, I have become used to travel and to the different ways that things work in other countries. One time in China, we were given chopsticks to eat our meals with. Just when I had fully begun to master the art of using a knife and fork, I had to use two sticks to fill my stomach. I ended up using both my hands to hold the chopstick to pick up the food and push it into my mouth. So at one point of time, Mary Combe started traveling countries to continue her sports. At the time, once she traveled to China and they used chopsticks to eat their meals. So Mary Combe was also given chopsticks to eat her meal. But that was the first time she was started to learn the art of using knife and fork. She started learning uh, how to use knife and fork. But at that time she was given chopstick that was even new to her. But Mary Combe did not refuse to use chopstick. She just used chopstick with her two hands. Usually we you have to we have to use chopstick using only one hand but she used two hands since it is new to her but anyway she wanted to fill her stomach so she used her two hands and she filled her stomach. My teammates asked you for spoons but I tried to manage with the sticks. It helped that I really enjoy Chinese food. I was hungry enough that I managed the complex work required. I ate enough to sate my appetite and my palate. After five years of traveling I started taking along some packed food from home. So 
Our teammates, what they did, they refused to use chopstick and they asked for spoon. But Mary Kum did not do that. She just used chopstick and enjoyed the Chinese food. I ate enough to sate my appetite. Sate means to satisfy her hunger. She ate food to satisfy her hunger. And after five years of traveling, she started taking that packed food from her home itself to avoid difficulties in eating. On my return, Delhi gave me a warm welcome at the airport. Back in Impal, I was greeted with garlands and rumbeats and dancing. There was a victory ride across town. A felicitation program was held in Langol, an area that houses the government quarters. So Mary Comb won silver in Pennsylvania. On her return to India, he was greeted by the government of India. A felicitation program was conducted in Langol. Langol is in Manipur. Thanksgiving prayers were said and words of praise and adulation were showered on me. I was presented with a traditional shawl. Oja Ibomcha was also present and duly felicitated. When I was spoke to the people in Langol that day, I spoke of my hope that I would win gold in future tournaments. So Mary Kom is a girl from Manipur. So she was felicitated in Langol which is in Manipur. And she has given hope to her people that someday or the other she will win gold for her country. And she promised them she will return from other countries with gold in a boxing tournament. That first international medal, a silver, will always mean a lot to me. The fight and all that followed are clearly etched in my memory. But deep inside, I was not happy with the silver. As I touched down in India, I vowed that the next time I would bring back a gold. I knew I was good enough. So, Mary Comb won silver in Pennsylvania. Though she won silver in Pennsylvania, she was not happy with that silver medal because her aim was always gold. She wanted to get gold in her country because there were much hard work behind her travel to Pennsylvania. There were many people hard work. They worked very hard to send her to Pennsylvania. So she thought that someday or the other I should bring gold to my country. I should make my people proud. Part 3 will be continued in the next video. Thank you.